Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. Playing this demo, uh, I think I've got all the Dragon Coins so far except for that one level. So I guess it's time to go on to Do They Float? But the real question is, will it blend? Uh, well, it looks like coins float. And I have my controls wrong again. At least I didn't die for it that time. Oh hey, that's centrable. I somehow assumed that I would be running farther to the right, but okay. Oh, it looks like all the enemies are going to... Okay, I can't spin jump on fish that are apparently swimming. I can probably still spin jump on these? Yeah. See, enemies have the water buoyancy here, but I do not, so I'm just going to fall like normal. This is teaching me how to do it, just in case I didn't get it two seconds ago. Uh, okay, lure that guy over, and then come up here. Whoa, that was close. Okay, those things are actually pretty scary. Alright, go under these. Go through these. Don't touch this guy at all. Okay, so that's gonna be tricky. I'm actually kind of scared about this. Dang it, not quite. If I was big, that would have worked, but with small demo here. There we go, needed just a little bit more gumption. Alright, so let's pass this. It looks like I'm just supposed to go across immediately. No need to hang around. I need to hang around on this one, though. Except for that guy. That guy helped out a lot. Those guys don't actually need buoyancy to function that way. What's the point? Oh! Oh no! Okay, so... I might be able to get lives here, actually. Tor the thing about Torpedo Teds is that they can still hurt you, uh, If they hit you after they've been hit by a shell. Like, their hitbox is still active. But, let's see if I actually get lives in this. Cool. So this is technically a nice life farm, I could just sit there and hold the button, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Well, I didn't do very well there. That was close. Um, oh, not stepping on that guy doesn't help me at all. Okay, so they're not constrained, but I am. Still no midpoint yet, this is kind of scary. Okay, there's my midpoint. But, had to seize the opportunity to grab that coin, otherwise I'd be getting it every single time, or... Uh, it would be just a pain in the butt to get in general. So I guess when I respawn, I'll respawn from up there, so that's probably what that is for. So don't need to worry about a secret or something up there, I don't think. Whoops. Oh, that didn't work out. Hey, it's a mushroom. End of free life there? <laughs> that I can't get, what a troll. Oh. That would have been nice, to be honest. I don't have that many lives. Actually, did my life counter reset? It might have reset, actually. Okay, this time I'll be a bit more patient instead of just running off. Oh wow, that is just weird. <laughs> then they break. Okay, that's not something I was expecting. Oh, and now I've got to deal with this. Dang it. That, the ones just going straight ahead are the ones that got, that got me, ironically. Pea balloon. Well, now I can float too. Whoa, the camera is really weird here. It's probably meant to help me, but it's also kind of scary. I gotta move fast, I think, because, yeah... I gotta go from people into people and Oh, I gotta kick that one too, or else I'm not gonna break. Well, that worked. I'm assuming that I was supposed to hit the red Koopa and do something with him, but... Okay, I've got plenty of time, just be patient. Om nom nom, eat them both, and get out of here before that guy ruins my day. Whoa, that is just weird, but it's technically underwater, so... 
This feels like something that would be in Yump. Uh, lure you guys around. Just go. Those guys aren't really a threat. Lure them around. P Balloon is not running out yet, so. Alright, be a little bit more careful here. Let's wait a cycle, just in case it's timed so that it's necessary. That looks good. Um, well that's not what I was supposed to do, I don't think. Okay. I gooped something up. What was I supposed to do with that guy? I gotta hit this with a shell. I guess I'll just end the level and then... Well, there's no point in ending the level, probably. But I don't know if it's the end of the level yet, so I'll see what's coming up. Looks like it is the end. Well, I'm just gonna... Oh, hey, it's another one. Thank you, Balloon. So nice of you to just give me a coin like that. And now I'm going to die, because otherwise I need to get back to the midpoint again. Oh shoot, only one landed on the platform. Both, but that was good enough. Oh wow. I swear the timing was slightly different than the last time. Dang it. Well, there's not much I can do about it now. Oh shoot. Mess that one up. I can't even bounce them upwards. Okay, there is there is a trick I can do. I can now get this guy and spin jump off of him to reach the pipe. Okay, <laughs> back on track. That worked. Now go up here. I do not get this puzzle at all. There's three blue coins. Unless I'm supposed to kick Yoshi into the on-off switch? Does that even work? Yoshi does hit the switch. Cool. I think I can get that, so it doesn't matter. Either way, the Rip Fam fish was there, so... I'm not sure if there is enough stuff for Yoshi to eat. Yeah, it's plausible for me to get myself a blue Yoshi here, but... Oh, hang on. Could he have eaten the coin? I should have fed him the coin if I had thought about it. I would have had myself a blue Yoshi. Well, whatever. Well, that took longer than I expected, to be honest, just to get that secret. I swear I've heard this song somewhere before. And who made that level? Lazy did. Okay. Yeah, that level... Honestly felt like it could have been in Yump almost. <laughs> Still a good level, but... Treehouse of the Paracoopas. By Poker Face. Alright, let's see how this turns out. Poink. Poink. Lots of... That's a pretty busy background going on there. Whee! Oh wow, just sent me into the sky. Whoa. 
Okay, well, don't do that. Alright, first dragon coin right away is a good sign. Because it means that I won't have to search for it later in the level. Oh wow, <laughs> really big pipe with the two guys coming out. Yeah, that's good enough. Well, that's not good enough. Yeah, I just want to be careful. <laughs> killed everything. Goodbye. Okay. This definitely seems like a level that will surprise me if I'm not careful, so I have to... I have to move quickly. Goodbye. Okay. And now there's a chuck. Well, might as well just grab the mushroom. So the level is uh, fairly tricky, but it looks to be short as well. Either that or there's multiple midpoints. Oh. Is that... Oh, that's the spike symbol. It looked like a diamond. Well, now I know what the spike symbol is. And I should probably be more careful than that. Okay, let's move. Okay, it's one of these. I probably need to make it go up. Oh, not really. I could have just jumped across. I assume the Koopas were to help me get up there. <laughs> I see those uh, jump symbol. And didn't do a good job of following the instructions, apparently. <laughs> Do I get a... Yay, I get a mushroom. That's good. Okay, just wait here. Fireball guys make it hard to wait, so I'll wait here instead, and then just go. There we go. Much less dangerous when you know what's coming up. Okay, this time I don't need to raise the platform, so just do what comes naturally. Oh, whoops. Alright, so yeah, don't... Uh, hold... Oh, whoops. I forgot that was the symbol for Big Spike here. I kind of wish there was another spike sign. I was expecting another spike sign to show up before I reached the next set of spikes, but apparently not. Alright. This time, I know there's spikes here, so be careful. The plant can't really hit me here. I should have just gone anyway, though. This one's here. Uh, I'm pretty much safe anyway. Okay, just go. Whoops. That's not really what I wanted to happen, but I get my hit back anyway, so it's not too bad. Okay, just go. Oh, I need to... I need to keep that hit regardless. Okay, so what's the easiest way to get around that hammer, bro? He's not in a very good spot. I think I should wait for him to jump onto the platform up there, and then attack him. Alright, let's see what the rest of the level has to offer, because this is definitely a level that you need to know before it's easy. This is probably the end. Hopefully it doesn't... Okay, it doesn't end the level automatically, or... And it gives me places to kill myself, so that's good. Also makes me wonder if there's something down there. Whoops. Oh yeah. Sideways spikes hurt you in this game, so gotta be careful. Alright, I can't kill myself if I get that moon now, so I'm going to wait till later.
definitely a completely different flavor from the last level. I felt like I didn't get quite enough notice on some of those obstacles, but it's all good. The Lost Lotus Forest, created by Yokui, who made a hack called something. And I just burned that ninja, hopefully he wasn't important. So, it looks like I'm supposed to go to the left. I don't know if... oh. Well, that doesn't seem like the right way to go. Who even needs winning a level? I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> so is this supposed to be like going backwards through a level that I've already beaten or something like that? Oh. No, I think it was supposed to be telling me that there was a Yoshi coin up there. Alright. Let's see if I can't get it just by running. No, not quite. Oh, looks looks like I'm fine. I thought I killed the ninji back here. That was important. Which is why I was starting to try and think up alternate strats. But nope, we're all good. Goodbye, ninji. I'm sorry for you. I should probably be more careful with these ninjis in general, honestly, but... I don't think there's any way I could have gotten up there. See another one of those Yoshi coin markers. Which means there's probably one this way somewhere. What is what is this block for? I can't hit it, as far as I can tell. I feel like I've missed a dragon coin by now. Unless there's like a second version of this level? Maybe I'm supposed to come back in some sort of nighttime version or however the gimmick's supposed to work. Or maybe I'm supposed to just turn around now? Oh, okay. So things have changed slightly, maybe a lot. I have no clue. Oh, so these plants are now piranha plants. Those are Yoshi coins I've already gotten. These have all grown up. Kind of weird to... Oh yeah, right. These guys are different. Kind of weird to say it. Oh! And this is now an alternate path. Alright. Yeah, the block's hit now. Okay, this is a really cool level, to be honest. Oh. Despawn some of that pollen. Uh, I guess I'll just wait here. There we go. Get a big jump for that one. This one's easy. Now, where was that Yoshi coin? Somewhere around here. I think I'm safe on this block. Yeah, I'm good. Because of the weird angles it fires. The Yoshi coin was close. There it is. And now I can actually get it. Nice. And more of those wooden pillars. Another piranha plant. I mean, not piranha plant. Lava lotus. And I know there was one more Yoshi coin, so I'm not missing it. Which is nice. Oh, I'm supposed to go down there. Okay, I can't get back up with that spring anymore. Hey, okay. Good. Even if I die now, at least I don't have to collect the dragon coins again, so... I don't need to jump over... Oh, yeah, right. These spikes work differently in this game. I always forget with the wooden ones in particular. It's easy to remember with the yellow spikes. But for wooden spikes, I'm more used to seeing them in Smabax than I am to seeing them in uh, Super Mario World, so 
I react to them as if it was my bags. And oh, those blocks! <laughs> I actually didn't even realize that I had already hit those blocks before. Just barely in a pattern I could deal with. Whoops. Is this a mushroom? I have to wonder if that one was a mushroom. Because that would be interesting. Oh, and now since the thing has grown out, I can trigger the goal and not die. Very weird level, but I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, and there was a secret exit. Hmm. I wonder. Follow the ninji, right? He's gotta know what he's doing. Yeah, that seemed to work. Okay, being above these guys is fairly safe, I think. Because they just kind of like propel it sideways. Can I scroll the screen at all? Yes, I can, so that could be helpful. Alright, let's just wait for this guy to go. Rats. <laughs> I should have jumped instead of trying to duck back. I didn't realize he was so close to firing. Just unless they show up on the screen at exactly the wrong time, and then you're... In... Then you have to react pretty fast to deal with them. But being able to just... Whoa. Being able to just go above them is very helpful. I think I'm going to... Nah, this might make it worse, actually. Okay, okay, that section was pretty short anyway, so... The, the red lava load, I don't end up being too scary, but... Oh, sheesh, another secret exit level. I'm probably gonna cut out a bunch of that first level, so let's... Let's go do the yellow level. I don't think I have... I don't think I have a lot of time, so... Agent Q. I guess Quill Stamp is what Q stands for, maybe? I mean, it's such a strange word to begin with. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get what the title's referencing now. Except it's weird to just have it be filled with all, like, spikes and stuff. Whoops. Because the Bramble set has been... The Bramble tile set has been available for so long and it's so commonplace that it's kind of almost amusing to see someone just recreate it in smooth. Yeah, that works. Don't even need to bother with that guy. It's kind of weird to see someone just recreate it and s using smooth assets instead of just using the one that exists. But I, I am pretty sure that was a deliberate choice to do that. Which makes it a more amusing. Bounce on you. Get on this ASAP. Alright, I'm just gonna let you run off. Yeah. Do nothing with your life. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, shoot. I can still do this. I kind of hesitated and almost killed me, but it, it was fine. So far this level has actually been pretty pleasant. It gives you a lot of time to react to what you're coming up against, but not so much that it's like super easy. Let's see if the second half is any different. Oh. Uh, I can burn him, so that's good. Okay, that looks like it might be more stuff. Oops. Oh no. I don't even know which way is the secret. Okay, now I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hello, Red Koopa. Okay, I figured I'd 
bounce off of him. Wow, you kill them like that even with a regular jump. I suppose this is a good place to find that out regardless. Oh, it didn't put me on a great platform. I thought for sure it would do that. That was pretty close, but it worked. Can't I just go through the platform like this? Probably easier than dealing with that guy, even though it wouldn't have exactly been like super tough anyway, but Okay, spin jump on it. Oh, cool. Good thing it wasn't spikes up there, I would have just bought my head. <laughs> die. Die. Okay, is this gonna be a great platform? It's actually two great platforms. Uh-oh. What else could be down there? Well, I can check just by... Okay, nothing. It's just giving you extra time to react. That's nice. It looks like there's stuff up there. Yeah, the trick to these, just put your head halfway over the edge of the block and jump. Oh, this isn't a dragon coin. I would have actually preferred that it was one. Even if you're at the very top, if you do that, you'll always run out of time, apparently. Um... Hopefully I can at least get to the last dragon coin before my timer runs out. Okay, there it is. Good, now I can go back through here. Don't jump the gun on going through that pipe. And there's the exit. Well, that went really well. <laughs> so well that I'm actually not sure if the video is going to be long enough, but I think it'll be fine. Amazing how the level that is just packed to the brim with spikes and death is the one that ends up being relatively relaxing. Thank you, Agent Q. Now I'm going to continue and save. And by continue, I mean not continue. See you next time.